This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volo are back here with another episode of The Bard's Tale, remastered and re-snarkled. In the last episode, we got to the top of the forest tower to fight Hearn, and we beat him. But the game did not take us down to the bottom immediately. No, it's because the game had some enemies prepared for us on the way back that way. So, yeah, we have to uh, um, fight the, I guess, evil cult group, whatever you want to call it. Um... But yeah, we have to fight them on the way down, so no plants, luckily. And I think all the traps have been destroyed, too. But now we have to fight human uh, units as well. So it makes it not as bad. Now I don't have to worry about some cheap damage every once in a while. Oh, and we can now summon... Uh, after beating Hearn, we can now use uh, the gems to... Ah! We can now use the uh, gems to summon him if we want to. Which I, I will here in a second whenever... Um, whenever we get a good, like, decent amount of groups of dudes together. Uh, I also got a new, uh... Oh, I'm stuck. Dang it. I guess I could technically swap... I was about to say I could technically swap to the bow and arrow of this. Yep. Gotta go from behind. It came from behind! Um, now we can just go straight to the exit. Now that I don't have to worry about, uh... Um... Uh... Getting all the treasure and everything like that. Oh yeah, this is the power smash attack that you get. Uh, you just have to charge it up to the, yeah, blue symbol. And, uh, not bad. It, it looks like it I mean, I could be wrong, but it looks like it kind of breaks through the defense. Uh, maybe I should swap, uh, since these guys aren't doing too much damage to me, maybe I should look into maybe swapping out the crone for a while. Maybe putting in the mercenary or something like that. Now, the only problem with uh, going back out of this place is I, I kind of forgot, like, um, ah, jeez, that magic's kind of heinous. Um, we I forgot the exact out. way to get out. Like, I mean, getting the way out's obvious. Like, there's not, like, many paths just, and since I usually tend to fight Bro, everyone, what? whoa, who's, seriously, he kept, like, s I didn't know he could spam magic. Holy cow. Uh, all right. Um... Yeah, let's try the mercenary and see maybe he's a bit more effective against, uh... I want to keep calling these guys druids, even though they're not druids. I think it's just because the whole, you know, robes and, uh, cloaked robes and everything like that. Kind of reminds me of old... The old design for, like, uh, druids and stuff like that back in the old days of video games, where they would usually... Most druids would be designed like this, you know? I'm trying to remember the first game that really kind of did that, that I recall. I know they did that in certain movies, too, as well as cartoons. Uh, but I, like I said, I, I could, like, right now tell you, oh, the crone died. Okay, I don't know that. I guess she died from age. Well, we are, we are fickle in the, in the land, in the worlds. I was going to say something poignant, but I kind of mixed up my words there for a second. Uh, I was gonna say like our eyes are fickle on the eyes of death or something like that, but, you know. but hopefully you don't get. I think she got killed by like a uh, like one of the druid spells or something like that. Must have done a lot of damage. All right, yeah, we're gonna. Too bad we have to go through the the whole tower again to do to fight all these guys. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind having to redo a dungeon to go back. It's just, oh, that's my wow. Mercenary must be weak against uh, we against magic. Him. Is the mercenary from uh, is is the mercenary heavy armor from like uh, Vandal Hearts or something like that? Actually, I think that's the same in a lot of uh, um, our games. Like usually, the heavy units are usually weak to magic to get or get affected more because. I guess because they go so slow or something like that. I don't know. Because I think I think uh, yeah, I think in, I think in Fire Emblem it's like that too. Where if you're weak against a uh, if you're like, like an armor unit, like a knight or you know or whatever, then yeah, magic affects you more. So yeah, I guess it is a common trend. These aren't too tough, not really. I mean, yeah, the magic skills some of the guys, but I feel like the plants were more more dangerous overall. And yeah, I'm not gonna go through the whole dungeon, uh, like, I'm not gonna go through every pathway to fight every version of these guys, just to, for levels, because I could, if I want to do that, I'll just grind. 
If I, well, I I do on new maps, maps I've already been to, but maps I've, I haven't been to before, then yeah, I'll go through every passageway because who knows where all the treasure chests are going to be, but in a path I've already done before and all I'm trying to do is just get back to the exit, then yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to like fight whoever comes across my way, but I'm going to try to get to the exit. I'm hopefully it doesn't take me as long to get back out as it did in, so that way I can, uh, show off the hunting grounds that I talked about last episode. Um, but we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, I looked up I looked up how long this game is. This game is about like uh I think I think I looked up the it's like fourteen chapters or something like that. And we technically unlocked like one from the future. Uh when I uh, accidentally went to that one town it unlocked like a, a chapter. So I don't know if you're supposed to go to that place after a certain point or if they just call the Finn's Town its own chapter, and they just put it somewhere in the middle, just to go, eh, this is, uh, sure, this is it, right here. This is where you're gonna go, or what we're supposed to do. I assume, because I, I didn't remember, I, I don't remember, oh, actually, this is a pretty good, decent grouping of dudes. I can show off here. That looks like he insta killed some of them. It may be because they were already weak or something like that. And then obviously the I'll have to show off the weaker spells later, because that was at level three. Oh, I didn't hmm. yeah, this is what I get for not memorizing the maps to a T. I kinda wish after you discovered the map, I kinda wish the game would just uh, uh let you look at the overall map after you've gone after you explored the whole thing, so that way you can know where to like I could just like pushing a button and just goes, oh, here's the map, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, <sighs> going around in circles, going around in circles. I'm just going around in circles, you know, wasting everyone's time. All right, let me show off. Let's see what. Let, I bet two's not really that much different, but we'll show it off. I'm trying to think of Princess Calais like different versions are already different. Probably not. It's probably just how much damage you do on the enemy. Yeah, it looks like in this case it didn't insta-kill him. Um, so I guess level 3 can possibly insta-kill some dudes depending on how strong they are. While in the weaker versions it just poisons them. And maybe does a little bit of damage. That makes sense that the, the one that costs the most would do the most damage and possibly just insta-kill him. Kind of like with uh, the princess when you summon her. she At different levels it depends on how much she heals you. Obviously, level three, I assume, is where. Ow, God. I thought the trap. Oh, that, actually, that could have been them that summoned that trap, so who knows, right? We I was about to say, I thought all the traps were de gone, but I'm like, well, they actually could have found it and just reset it. Although it's kind of weird that this place had traps because. Wasn't this place we run by plants? Them. You know, I, I don't really see plants like forming boulder traps and stuff like that. No. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a. Uh, you know, I was about to say doctor, but it was like, no, that's not... I mean, there are doctors for plants, but they're not called doctors. Um, Death to the bomb! Actually, I guess you could just say plant doctor for... But I know there's a specific term, and as of this moment, the name escapes me. I'm, the and I'm not a herbologist. I think so. Sounds like the mercenary's drunk. Go home, go home, Billy, you're drunk. Or whatever the name of the mercenary is. Stay down. Well, I mean, they're trying to stay. They'll stay down when they're dead. Or they could just stay down if they're about to die, but then they don't want to die. And they're like, eh, I don't want to die. And they're like, okay, you live another day if you pretend to, if you kiss my feet. Or whatever. Something similar to that. Something degrading. How, I wonder how anyone could really do that, just kiss someone's feet. That just sounds gross. Hey, if you want to demoralize someone, there you go. I'm the best. At least he doesn't talk as much as the, uh, the um, trap dude or the explorer. Probably because I kept running into traps. That's probably why he talked so much. Because I was running in a dungeon where they were like every other we step. Triumph. 
So far, the so far the power smash has been a pretty good investment, at least against human opponents, anyway. I don't know if it would have been as effective against the plants, but. All right, we're almost out of here. Sweet. Just one more four to go, and then we'll be free of this 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 plant-filled, uh, pollinated uh, um, allergy affecting play oh huh so some of the traps are still here interesting uh, hmm. i'm trying to remember the fastest way to get out i'm probably going the wrong way again knowing my luck i've got zoro's luck when it comes to like uh, uh directions apparently even though i was a boy scout and i know all my directions initially but yeah that's what happens when you you're not in the scouts anymore man you can't you can't just use that as an excuse because there was, I think there was one path on this floor that kind of looped around or something like that. Man, I was kind of surprised to see a trap in here that was actually working. I assumed they were all dead because the plant. Well, I know the plants on the top were dead. We triumph. No, well, we do triumph, don't we? Not triumph the insult, comic dog triumph, but triumph nonetheless. Kind of glad that you can kind of attack guys while they're on the while they're on the ground. Although that means the same could be done of you, but you, know, you take the good with the bad, I guess. Death to the bard. Yeah, this power sweep is definitely making certain certain enemy encounters a lot more a lot more efficient. Because then I just charge it up and I wait to go through their attack animation, so they've. They've stopped blocking me or whatever, but if you keep smacking the button, they're gonna mm, block after painful. a while. Now, who did that? Oh, the one of the druids cast on me. For some reason, I thought it was cast on one of the druids. I'm like, huh? I don't recall. I don't recall my abilities being able to do that. I was like, well, wait, am I? Oh, is it just? A... Oh, for some reason, I thought that was the way out. I, I don't know why. I just. It's just a random save spot. <laughs> Man, it's in the wrong with my brain today. Well, I have been getting regular fevers recently. Sinus headaches and all that other stuff. And no, I don't have what you think I have. But, uh, it does, when I get headaches, I, my brain gets addled more. Like, I can, ah, the boulder, man. Indiana Jones would not be proud of me. Um, yeah, a lot more traps are all in here, but, uh, yeah, I can, I'm, I mean, I'm not the best at holding pain, but I'm pretty, I can tolerate quite a bit of pain uh, for the most part, but when it comes to, like, anything that has to do with my head, like headaches, for whatever reason, I, I can't handle those as well as others, so it almost debilitates me half the time. Either that or I just get, uh, either that or I just get the worst case of headaches, you know, and what I get is worse than, like, what normal people get. That's quite possible. I don't know. Like I said, maybe because maybe I get headaches regularly, but because my pain tolerance is a little bit better than maybe some other folks. But like I said, I don't think I have the best pain tolerance. I just think it's a you know a little bit above average. You know what I mean? Obviously, if I you know if I break a bone or something, then I'm gonna feel that that in the morning. You know that type of thing. But you know, there's some people that can like go through it stoically more than others. You know, let's read some of the. I guess you just can't handle your magic, huh, buddy? Time to get paid. I have to pay you guys? Hmm. We may have to renegotiate this whole summoning we thing. Triumph. Apparently these uh, evil cultist dudes, or whatever you want to call them, apparently killed all the wolves around here, because there was a bunch of wolves here before. Man, these guys keep we triumph. There's just some guys who like to like some guys don't spam the magic and the other and then the other characters. Actually, I I think these guys might be druids because they have been summoning like nature magic against me and stuff like that. So I don't know. I was I was I was thinking for a second maybe I was just uh, imagining things, but maybe they are evil druids. Although I guess the concept of the druid is supposed to be neutral. You know, they're supposed to be just all about. Well, it depends on which. Uh, version of the story about druid you read you know in D&D &D terms there's one in the poster of me the bard 
Although the bard in this game definitely acts differently from most bards and most literature anyway. I mean, he still sing he still plays a musical instrument and stuff like that, but he almost acts more like a rogue. Well, actually, technically, depending on if you're, what game system you're playing, D&D has a lot of roguish... The bard usually has some roguish abilities, so... They're, although they're usually a jack-of-all-trades. Uh-oh. Looks like the landsmen, now that we've, uh... Now that we've, uh, uh... Killed the forest, now they're undead-like animals and stuff like that. Around. But anyway, here's the hunting grounds. Let's go in there and show that off. But yeah, now there's a now that we've uh, destroyed Hearn, the uh, uh, flora and fauna of the of the world has uh, kind of gone to crap. Uh, no thanks to us, I guess. All right. Yeah, now we can uh, go to the hunting ground. I forgot what you could do here. I know the. Oh, there's some treasure. Might as well grab the treasure while we're here, at least, if anything. More, ooh, swim trunks. Very nice. Not as classic as the heart-shaped trunks from. Uh, Ghosts and Goblins, or Mad, or uh, Maximo. God, does anyone remember Maximo? Man, I wish they had kept making those games. Oh well, too bad Clover Studio closed down. And they made some good games too, just no one was buying them, which is weird. You'd think they would have. They were so, well, at least uh, the Okami, or was it Okami? Hmm. Now I'm trying to remember. Oh, nothing here. Um, that was a beautiful looking game, and it played pretty good for the most part. Uh, but yeah, I guess just people just didn't want that. Although I think it came out at the time when people were playing more action games and shooter games at the time. And I'm not blaming the shooter genre for that. I'm just saying that seemed to be what was on the mind of a lot of people. Uh, I wonder if there was there was going to be more here if I hadn't finished the um, uh, the Hearn's Tower. Ooh, we got a new charm. Um, yeah, I wonder if there would have been animals and stuff like that here, um, if, if we hadn't, uh, killed, uh, Another victory for me. <laughs> Quite possibly. I, I should have shown this off earlier. Maybe I'll make a, upload another old file and, uh, find this a little bit sooner and show it off, maybe. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I, it's just one of those things I must have just missed or bypassed when I was walking around, so... Oh well. All right, let's get out of here. We got we got our um, token, which is the the big thing. So let me show that off. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. This charm, made from a mixture of copper and silver, was enchanted to bring its bearer good health. It kind of looks like uh, the statue of Jesus in a uh, de, de Rio or whatever. Or, yeah, you know, uh, the, the, oh, ah! anyway, it gives you plus one vitality, very nice. And now that we have the money, let's go, before we meet the bo Bobs, Boves, whatever, uh, let's go get the, uh, let's go to Houghton and buy the map. You know, I think you we can still buy the map. around here, and pretty soon I let you stay, yeah. permanent. Now be off with you. Yeah, we'll do, I think we'll do more story plot next episode. Uh, I kind of want to, uh, want to show off, uh, the maps and stuff like that. Oh, for a second. I thought there was a person there for a second. Welcome back. What can I do for you? All right. Ooh, and because my charisma is a little higher from previous, uh, from leveling up, the uh, map costs a little bit less now. So, I mean, you probably should wait to maybe later in the, the game, but I forgot at what point can you It's not go back or at least not go back easier. So, yeah, we'll go and buy it now. Interesting. Peeking at my map, are you? I can tell you this much. It's as old as the hills and chock full of danger and delight. The fellow I had it from said there's plenty of frights to make things hot. Plenty of X's marking the spot. Hmm. All right, well, let's check it out. Or let's see what this uh, map has to offer. Goodbye, Silver. I've been grinding you for a little bit. Well, not that much, but still. Just what I was looking for. Oh, filthy, stinking rich I am! All that silver for a scrap of a map I had off a wizened old bugger for the price of a piece of bread! <laughs> Well, so long and farewell, good sir. I'm off to Doonby to spend the days drunk as a lord and tickling every lass I can lay a hand to. How oh, bless you, sir. Bless you and goodbye. Well, I'm glad I could make your dreams come true. Yeah, if you buy the map from him, uh, which we didn't need to buy any stuff from him. Yeah, we shop Sorry. closes down shop. Sorry. And he, uh, you can't buy stuff from him anymore. Uh, you know, which makes sense. At that point, by the time you buy the map, you probably bought all the stuff from him anyway. So, uh, but anyway, now we unlock a new area. 
Um, I don't think I can access it. Oh, and the wandering. Luckily, the wandering trial still sells your map, so you don't have to worry about uh, losing out on the um, losing out on that. Uh, but yeah, there's the map on the or the spot on the map. So let's go check out our first treasure map. Hippie treasure. Yeah, Scrooge Duck would have a field day with this one. Well, let's see what's in here. So, looks uh, interesting. Sounds easy. Whoa! Holy cow, those traps do a lot of damage. All right, time to now. Let's leave in the crone. So let's uh, take out the mercenary and uh, bring in, bring on the explorer. Wait for that to go away. All right. Yeah, let's uh, get the explorer to d d uh, disarm all these traps. Although technically he distracts, he disarms them by running on them. But uh. Must stop. Trap. Come on. Stop all the traps. Yep, just keep getting hit. It's fine. It's okay. Don't worry. Spikes spikes on spikes on your face are are good for character. Okay, he does. Spin a trap. Yeah, there's probably a million traps in there. Oops. Well, that was a that was a ball. That was a went away pretty quick. It sounds like something's going on in the background, like either like either it's a right mechanical here. or or perhaps a, a machine or something like that. I'm not sure. I also like this place is filled with traps. I guess it is. Oh, that's what's causing it. Okay, so it's let's see if we can go around first before we go into the den of arrows. Traps. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Thanks for working on that before I got him. At least we got the prone to heal me, so. Yeah, keep keep disarming those traps. I'll just wait for this good old lady to heal me. I don't know why anyone crawls our crone. She seems to be a nice nice old bird, you know. Heal me without any cost. Call me sweet. Whoa, what the heck is this? Dead bot. Hell no chance. Well, dead men sing, uh, sling no sails. What do you want from me? Anyway, I gotta heal the sword. Yeah, I wonder what that, uh, wonder what that door with the mouth on it. So, that's kind of creepy. Is that, uh... Yeah, it looks like the undead permeate this place. Yeah, too bad I don't have my cleric from D&D &D here. Turn undead! Or whatever. Actually, did you say turn undead in the game now? I didn't even play it that long ago, and I already forgotten like what uh, um, yeah, these guys hit pretty hard. And my weapon ain't doing a lot of damage. I might be, I might be in an area that's a little uh, um, under, like under leveled for maybe. Yeah. Oh, did I kill him with that one arrow? Huh. I just got really, really lucky. But yeah, I might be, I might be a bit under leveled for this place maybe. Or I just don't know. Or I need to start boosting up my vitality a little bit. Which I do need to do. My strength's pretty high. I could probably leave it at the strength I'm currently at for now. Um, and then just start uh, building on the uh, on my vitality, which is a little low. And charisma. Although I do want to start bumping up the... Uh, man, so many decisions on how to play the game because, you know, I also want to bump up rhythm so my summoners will be a bit more helpful. You know. But whatever. All right, what's in here? Looks like probably more undead. I could probably get rid of the. Oh, uh, is that still undead? It kind of looks like undead. Ow. Ah, it does. Yeah, it looks like zombies this time. Ooh, did they just use their intestines to get close, close quarters combat? Gross. Well, at least he's not flinging snot at me or something. Now that'd be the, that'd be the end all be all. There we go. Okay. Yeah, good thing the dog doesn't permanently die. Take notes, Fable. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ow. Actually, accidentally, uh, I was messing with my chair there for a second, and my, I accidentally kicked, kicked the, my uh, headboard of my uh, bed, and now my toe hurts like really badly. <laughs> you probably didn't even feel or didn't even hear the noise either of me kicking it because it was kind of a. Subtle, but uh. Alright. Yeah, maybe I should switch back to the 
someone to help me fight because I mean the explorer's not gonna do anything against these guys. He doesn't have an attack. At least as far as I'm aware. I mean maybe he doesn't attack if it really comes down to it, but well, the good thing about these slow undead is that uh oh, oh! Okay, good. First, I just noticed my HP go down to, like, really low. I was like, uh-oh. Yeah, they kept, uh... Yeah, their speed uh, and how they attack is pretty... Maybe I don't have to... Even worse the effort. Ugh, eyeballs. Well, they can always sell for a pretty penny, I guess. I'm just seeing if there's any random... Random things from destroying the, uh... Pots and everything like that. I don't think so. And yes, I know there's a treasure in the center. I'm just checking everything out before I do that. This might end up being a longer episode because I don't know if I want to stop this dungeon in the middle of the. Uh, that has no save spot, so. Alright, what do we get? Well, would you look at that? Oh, nice. Wow, 500 gold. The map may already pay for itself because I. I'm trying to remember. Usually, most dungeons will give you about. What you pay for in it, maybe a little bit more. Do you have anything new to say? Or is it going to be the same thing every time? Probably going to be the same thing. Dead bot. Yep. Hell no. Next. Okay. We know we know what your we know what your your deal is. All right. So going forward does that. So let's go I this time. a trap. You want to go? Going to try it out, dude? Or no? Gonna, you smell a trap, but don't actually go in. Charge. Uh, I'll take care of things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what kill? Oh, does, is that just a summoner trap? A summon monster kill trap? Shimmering particles of light danced in the air. Shining there in the darkness, they dampened and suppressed the bard's magic. Knowing that he must now venture forth alone, without the help of his songs, our hero readied himself for action. Is that for the whole? Okay, but yeah, it's a it's a summon dampener, magic dampener, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, as soon as they died, I was thinking that it's got to be like an anti-magic field or something like that. Whoa! Holy cow! Uh, actually, technically, now that I know that those are there, I don't. Have, I'll just resummon the crone, and uh, I know I could probably heal with with the uh, with the uh, uh, princess of uh, Calais, but. I'm gonna summon the crone and have her heal me a bit, and then I'll come and then I'll go back in there. So, yeah, I know it's a cheap way of doing it, but whatever. Healing. Don't don't judge me. I'll wait for you to heal me one more time, and then we'll go in the other way. I just have to be a bit more careful now that I know I don't have my summon. So it's kind of weird how weird how it does the damage. So it, it does it does a bunch of piddling little damage instead of just. It, I guess it still has to. I guess the idea is it still has to use the mechanic ah, for it, for me. <laughs> uh, the summon, so it can't just like immediately uh, delete them or whatever. Hmm. Nothing I can do there. I almost now wish I had I was more, I used more of, like the bow and stuff like that instead, like for for my damage instead of a, a sword. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I don't do it. I like almost do like no damage with the bow. Definitely a dungeon. Ah, definitely a dungeon where you have to like utilize um, blocking and stuff like that more. Or at least this part of the dungeon. I mean, the bow is doing damage, and the constant fire streams are hurting him. So it's not like it's not like it's not a possible strategy, you know, for it. It's just a little it takes a. A um, little wall to kill them all, that's all. And the dog can help uh, blow back some of the. Uh, uh, I'm I think I'm gonna skip um, hitting the uh, um, phases or not doing anything anymore. I can keep hitting them and just stack on the fire damage. I guess it's a good thing this bow does do fire damage, otherwise, it'd be kind of pointless. Yeah, too bad they don't make any other, or at least as far as I'm aware of, I don't think any of the other weapons uh, normally that you normally get do like damage like that. Now, for a second, I thought I could almost summon someone in there because it looked like you couldn't see the particles, but no, nah, you can see the particles. 
Particle man, particle man. Does things in the garbage can. Actually, I don't even remember. It. There's nothing in here? Huh, you would think there would be, like, something. Like a chest that I missed or something, but no, I guess not. Huh. All right, well, let's keep exploring the dungeon. I'll, I'll avoid the rest of the uh, obvious encounters. Oh, dudes. Yeah, let the dog take the hit since he can't, since he can't technically die. Yeah, I know. I'm putting the dog to pasture by accident, but what can you do, man? I don't want to get hurt. I only have like 40 heal stoves to, to uh, <laughs> heal myself with. It's not like I'm about, I'm not gonna run out anytime soon. I guess maybe, I wonder if the game expected me to be a certain level by this point uh, and didn't expect me to gri grind money for the map because, yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like the game wanted me to be, be like at a little bit of a higher level. Uh-oh, these guys can throw away. Oh, that's right, these these undead can throw stuff at me if, if I'm too far away. Luckily, if I'm just close enough, they'll, they'll come in for the attack instead of throwing their goo at me. Their goo! Uh, Self-help book, huh? And the bard. Bard makes his own help. Or yes, self-help, self-love, whatever. Okay, so the first treasure gave us like about 900 gold. Or silver, I mean. So let's see how much this gives us. It gives us a summoning stone. I think it was like 850, but I'm just rounding up. That's uh, 500. So that's... That's 1400... Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, that's about 1,400 silver, unless I misplaced uh, some random treasure in my head. Um, so that's not a bad amount of treasure. I mean, it might not end up being as much as the map, but it's still uh, still an experience. We, we did get some... Uh, ah, I got poison. That's not good. Well, at least it's not... They didn't hit me multiple times to build it up. Because, yeah, you can't... It looks like you can kind of build up status affliction, you know, where they... Where you do so much damage over time if you keep hitting it yeah see like how the poison's going pretty slow but I think during like some spells or whatever the poison could go a lot faster if I was standing in it or I got hit multiple times while well, the fire well sometimes the fire goes faster I guess it depends now now I'm being reckless although we only got this one little section here and then uh, we'll be out of this part of the map yeah, I'm just gonna... I was looking at the timer on my maps. Ow! Dicks! Um, and now they're one-shotting the, the dog. Ah! <laughs> Get off me! Oh, it's almost like I'm not I'm taking too long to... There we go. Ooh, we gotta level up. Nice. We'll do that here in a second after we finish these guys off. dog, yeah. Looks like he's focused on me, but the dog's able to do, like, a little bit of extra damage. I bet there's no treasure in here. I bet the only treasure is at the, like, top part. Um, yes? Yep, alright. So I could have just skipped the rest of those rooms, but they did give experience. Now, how much experience? I'm not sure. Alright, we could probably swap out to the... So, oh god, I forgot about that. <laughs> I fell for that again, because I wanted to get out of here, so... Alright, bro. And then... I'll put a spore. Oops. Please put a spell on me. I'm here! Alright, now we have to get past these, uh... Now, how are you gonna get rid of this trap, dude? Are you gonna get rid of this trap? No? Ow, whoa, 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 whoa! I thought I moved fast enough. Huh. Okay, let's try that again. Oh. Unfortunately, she, the crone died, but still. Does this guy not get rid of traps or something? Or get rid of these arrow traps? No, yeah, nothing. Hmm. Well, that's kind of annoying. Hmm. Alright, let me summon the crone again just to heal, and then we'll go into the next... Uh, Keeps running into it, dude. I'll put a spell on you. All right, one more time. Yeah, come on, heal. Heal me. 
I saw the heal. All right, what's a level up for really the quick? The stronger the bard is, um, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Yeah, let's weapons. get that vitality up another point. Uh, the charisma is at 10. That's pretty good. will offer significant discounts to the bard mm. if he has high charisma. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical mm. tunes with greater skill, enhancing we'll do one the more. statistics. Okay. All right. I just Once have to be again, careful. the bard felt his magical powers dampened by the shimmering light. Yeah, too bad you can't destroy those uh, um, symbols over there. To yeah, all right. Yeah, the problem with this, uh, it looks like this section is now the dungeon's a bit more heinous. Can we just go? No, we can go around. Oh come on! I call shenanigans. Um, okay. Because I was timing that too. Apparently, my timing sucks. Yeah, see, that one's a. Oh, come on, man. Hey. Um, oh, yeah, do I, I guess I'll summon the bow again. I might end up just using the. Um, Hearn, maybe. Oh, can I summon Hearn? Would I be able to? No, let's find out. Or summon in general. Because it looks like I can. Now, can you actually hurt him? Kind of looks like he did. Okay, yeah, he did insta kill some. So at least you can use your. The only thing I don't like about this dungeon is you can see all these, like, open hold things, so you think I'm gonna get, like, uh. uh like spiked or something like that, you know. Yeah, it's good to know I can at least do the big summons if I, if it really comes down to that. Oh uh, wow! Dang it! Poisoned me. And at least we got the dog with us. Good doggy. Good boy. Distract those guys from me. I really should just go in and smack them. They're not doing that. Oh wow! Oh, God, my life! My life! Me. My life, Briar. Thus ends the bard. Well then, sucks for me. So I was actually going to try to finish the dungeon, but it looks like I died a little early there. So, uh, and I didn't save it at the beginning of the dungeon. So bad for me. So it looks like the the bard's hubris hit him. But uh, will we be able to get back and uh, get back up on our feet and get back to this point? We'll find out next time in the next episode of the Bard's Tale: Remastered and Resnarkled. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.